Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So today we have Nilanjan with us who has secured a rank of 343 in GATE uh, EC examination. So let's talk to him and get to know more about his journey. So yeah, hi Nilanjan, you can briefly introduce yourself to our viewers. Yeah, hi Marshu. Uh, first of all, thanks for inviting me in your channel. Uh, so I'm Nilanjan. Um, I'm currently uh, doing as a, working as a software developer here in Bangalore. And uh, I am pass out of 2022 batch from Jadavpur University, Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. So I am, as I'm working here as a software developer, but uh, I uh, never wanted to become this uh, domain. So I uh, started, basically my field of interest always uh, lied in the VLSI domain. So that's why I started preparing for the great exam, the stacks. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is very fascinating. You are a software developer and you you part out in 2022 as well so it would be it would be a very long time that uh, you would have studied electronics things. so how did you muster up the courage to prepare for gate again again and how did you actually get into the domain of studying so how tough was that was for you uh see the journey was obviously difficult because my office timings uh were not i mean it is from nine to six you have to i mean basically you have to complete you have to complete nine hours and eat every day and uh, then uh, after coming from office it was very hectic yeah and uh, almost 80 percent of my energy you can say it got exhausted in my office so after i you usually i, I used to go to office at 10 a.m and then uh, i come back home while coming back it was around 8 p.m so i have to complete basically nine hours that was the time window mm -hmm. i had to complete so it was around 8 p.m i used to come and then uh, after Having dinner, I used to start my preparation basically. So almost three, four, four hours a day consistently, every day. Yeah, I used to study because and uh, it happened many times also. Okay, I slept while studying. That also happened. And in corporate section, you know, right? In weekends also, we uh, sometimes we have to work. We, yeah, that that happens in every corporate section, I guess. So yeah, obviously it was difficult. It was tough, but I kept myself motivated. I have to be in the VLSI domain. I've already wasted my two years. And then now I don't want to waste more. So I just started preparing for that. And uh, it and started when, uh, I mean, when I started from the very beginning, again, see, in two years, I almost forgot. Yeah, every, it's I, I Almost forgot, forgot, right? So, and I was into a so entirely different domain in software yeah. development. So here also, I mean, uh, started from the very beginning when uh, then first initially it, it was getting difficult, but later when I was going through the topics and uh, then I understood, okay, I mean, I basically I revised back, you can say, okay, yeah. I got to remember everything, all of the concepts and all. So I, that, that, was, that was helpful. I mean, in 2022 also I started preparing, but it was uh, not exactly, you can say, in a proper way. Okay. But that actually helped me a lot in 2022 preparation because that time I made notes, my notes, handwritten notes and all. And those were there with me in here in Bangalore. So but I, I did, this time I didn't have to make again the notes and all. I just rewrite those notes and then started, wherever I used to get stuck, I used to uh, check for the online videos and all. And then I used to brush up my uh, knowledge basically. Okay, so uh, you are having a job security as well. Like we discussed your CTC, although we are not going to reveal it here. But a very good CTC you are having. A, so how does the motivation come? This is personally I want to I wanna know. Like when someone is having so much of security, so how does he uh, try to go to some different field? See, what I think is at some point of time, money doesn't matter. Okay, we aim to... Focus, mental peace, my design. I was not at all happy with this software domain. I always, uh, I, in my college days also, I worked in VLSI domain. And when I uh, landed up in our company, so initially I, I thought, okay, uh, I, I, there was some FPGA project was also going on. So I thought, okay, okay. I'll be moving a digital design role here. So, but uh, there are other impact guys also, but due to lack of vacancies there, I didn't get the uh, digital VLSI basically so they got 
So um, they were obviously they they will not them preference as preference, right? So my manager, uh, he was also uh, from Jadavpur University. So he underst- understood my situation, but he trusted on me. He told me, uh, you can uh, if you want to be in FPGA, you, you can go into FPGA. But I'll rather suggest to explore this domain first. And I believe in you that like you can also do these things. Uh, you can also be in the software domain as well. Then I started again studying for software, operating systems and all, CC, plus plus everything. And uh, within a couple of years, I got promoted in uh, as a senior developer as well. But still, I was not happy while coding okay, what I'm doing with my career. Uh, it will be in long term, right? In long term, if, if I see, I'll, I'll not be happy because I never work in the software domain in my college days also. And so that's what, I mean, this time money didn't matter for me. I mean, enough is tough, you can say. Hey, why don't I do going really sadly? So, yeah, so that's a, that's a proper corporate story. Like I want to be in a particular domain, your manager would say that, try this one, you can, <laughs> he can do this one. And then you kept on doing this and then you get promotion. And this is the cycle that keeps on going. Right? It is highly, highly appreciated that you took this step and uh, now you are having a great rank that you can do whatever you want to achieve. Yeah, that's a great step. And like those people who ask me that why I dropped the job and came into teaching, I have the same answer for things. Whatever that you told, so I have the same We should follow your passion, obviously, every day. And it is one more guy. He was also similar in a similar situation in my office. So he actually motivated me to start preparing with him. So okay. just started like that <laughs> yeah great great so let's talk uh, like what what all things you covered from prefusion so in from prefusion initially when uh see i there were two topics which were uh, two subjects basically which were my weak points like communication and electromagnetics so yeah. i when i started studying electromagnetics there's one electromagnetics of course available in free in youtube yeah so i started with that and it was a very good course basically you can say and uh, uh, then after that, while ramping up also, I saw some marathon uh, MOSFET course. That also I was going through. And currently, though, I'm going through the Tech Masters courses. You know. Okay. So, okay, okay, great. So, like you covered completely from YouTube itself uh, with the job as well. Like uh, nine hours job is there, too much hectic process. So, how did you manage all these kind of things? Like you were saying, you said that you used to, you used to study four hours per day. So, how tough it was to maintain the consistency? And uh, how did you utilize your weekends as well? Like it would be a very motivating thing for job going guys. So you can tell that. Yeah, it, it was difficult. But uh, if you have that thing in your mind, you have to do this thing. You don't have any other options left. And uh, it, then you, you will obviously get yourself motivated, right? You have to be motivated every time. And uh, yeah, I faced some difficulties as well. Like initially when I started doing mock test exams, so I got one time, I got 30 marks okay. in mock test and I got repressed with that. Then that day, from that day, I started analyzing each and every questions from the beginning where I'm uh, doing the mistake. So from that day, I started basically, you can say, uh, seriously, okay, the, the, this will not work in the exam. And uh, if you talk about weekends, yeah, my friends used to make plans in weekends also, but I, I know, okay, I, I shouldn't go this time because I have only this three or four months. This three, four months I'll study and then after that, whatever they will ask, I'll... And they were supportive as well. They know, they knew my conditions, they knew my situations. So they were also supported, they knew. So it was... And uh, one more thing, uh, just three months before the preparation, uh, basically my uncle, auntie, they came to my flat and they supported, they helped each and every work they did in my household, or as you can say. They did everything. So I, so I didn't have to do anything while living in flat. I just, they told you just study, focus on your study. After coming back from office, you would take your dinner, then sleep for one hour. And then I used to sleep for one hour because power nap is important. Yeah, yeah, but isn't key. Then you study. Stay, you can study till what time you can study, you can study. So I used to study three, four, four hours average, you can say, after coming back from office. And in weekends, though, uh, if there is no work in weekends from office side, then weekends I was totally available and I used to study. That, that yeah. So it requires a lot of mental stability, like uh, having a full-time job, uh, a, a complete good job is there. And uh, on weekends, I'll, I'll meet you. Yeah. 
on weekends as well you need to stop yourself from enjoying it it might sometimes it might feel like because i have been at the same place it might feel like that okay people are enjoying my friends are enjoying why i should not go with them let's go once two twice and in that manner time gets time gets wasted so it requires a lot of mental stability and that is highly highly appreciated in melanin so you would be a perfect example for all those people who want to prepare with the job so let's coming back to your preparation so what was your kitchen bank how many kitchens did you sold and from where did you practice the kitchens from so initially i started with the pyqs pyqs i covered almost it was 30 years. i had a question bank of 30 years pyq okay. so i covered all those questions in pyq and uh, analyzed all those questions and then i took uh, one test series and uh, in test series also we had i mean lots of exams we had so i used to give one test series and, and let's say it is a 3 hours test test series i wrote it for 3 hours and then i used to analyze that test whatever where i mean in which question i'm giving i'm doing the mistakes also and which question i'm doing the right also every questions i used to analyze each and every questions uh, let's say if i can do this uh, question in a in a very simpler way but i did it and i uh, took it a longer time so that's why uh, i used to i mean go through the all the answers and uh, analyze all the answers basically in uh, in a proper way so i took uh, basically more time in analyzing than right and doing the writing the test series so i completed all those tests and then uh, th- this is only this test series and pyqs on the rt Okay. Yeah, so that's a that's a pretty good thing. Like whenever you write down a test, you need to analyze that as well. Sometimes people ask, sir, I wrote down the test in three hours and I analyzed it in one hour only. That is not uh, certain. Like three hours of test may take you even three hours or even more than three hours to analyze that particular test, and uh, that would be the best outcome of that particular test. So this was only your revision strategy, or did you revise uh, in different manner, or you used to revise with questions only? I revised. I told you initially that I had this uh, question. I mean, I started preparing in two thousand twenty-two as well. But uh, that time I had those notes. I mean, uh, short notes I had written everywhere. So my handwritten notes were there. I revised from there, and then for deep concepts where I needed the deep concepts and all that time YouTube lectures and all th- th- those were fine. I mean, th- those are very good. So I did revision like that only. and then i uh, and jumped into this uh, pyqs and then test series okay okay great great manjan so lastly if you want to tell any motivating words for those people who are actually doing the job and they want to switch and they are they kept on thinking they kept on with it one year two years three years they keeps on thinking that whether they want to go for this build or not so what would you tell to those people i'll tell the uh, just see if you are preparing for the gate exam and you were uh completely in the different domain or let's say if you want to land up in some uh, good for to get some good opportunities as well and you want to write the gate exam for that reason keep motivating yourself and then believing yourself that is a uh, uh, and uh, i mean that is the motivation keep believing yourself and then focus on what you are doing not what others are t- talking about you what others are telling so just believe in yourself and focus on your work and uh, for study in a proper structural way I'll, i'll say because see gate exam is i i, I don't think gate exam is uh, that tough as upsc or any kind of exam if you if you are consistent and uh, i mean if you study every day for 5 hours and while doing your job as well i mean that, that is sufficient if you study for 3 4 months and uh, if you are, and first initially you should clear your uh, technical subjects and all first you have to and then you have to revise every time you have to revise let's say each and every day you have to revise you can say in a week and uh, write the if pyqs are most in, in most important i believe pyqs and, and test series that will be good that will be good enough to get a decent rank yeah so whenever i talk to any ranker they always say the the importance of pyqs and great nilanjan like you have prepared with the full time job with the very good strategy and that's uh, really commendable yeah thank you thank you very much for coming on this channel Thanks so much thanks thank you everyone for watching the video till the end if you also want to prepare in the same manner with prep fusion for gate 126 and 127 examination then you can visit our website and apply the code titans15 on all our paid courses and you will get 15% off the complete information regarding all the courses have been shared in this particular video which you can check out by clicking on the link that has been posted in the description box best of luck to everyone and happy learning